A bear attacks an Asheville family's dog. It happened in their backyard in the Hall Creek community. News 13's Ashley Searles joins us live from there now. And Ashley, the family says this bear didn't appear to be afraid of humans. No, and that made them worried. They say that what happened to their dog last week should be a warning to everyone not to feed black bears. We've seen them both in the daytime and at nighttime. Rory Noblet's family was letting their dog out late Friday night when they saw it. And when the dog saw the 300 pound animal, she went after it. One of the bears was up in this tree and the mother bear was on this wood pile and jumped right over the wood pile and grabbed a hold of her. It grabbed a hold of all 10 pounds of Rosie. And now the little brown schnauzer has five broken ribs, three big puncture wounds, and her throat was slashed open by the bear's teeth. Noblet says she would have been killed if he hadn't been able to chase off the mama bear with her cub in a tree, which wasn't easy. It was not afraid of me at all. It reared right up and was popping its jaws and hollering at me, so I hollered back at it, and it finally let, or Rosie finally took off towards the porch. Noblet and his fiance have a nine-month-old son, and they're worried the bears are coming so close these days. There were five in the family's front yard just last month because they've heard rumors that people in Hawk Creek are feeding them. That's the only thing I can stress, that these are not little cute things that, I mean, I thought they were cute when I was little, but I'm grown up and I have kids now, and my kids do not need to be out here with bears in the backyard. I'll keep them cl closer eye on the dog when they're in the yard. Neighbor Mike Murray says he hasn't heard anything about locals feeding the bears, but after his own bear trouble here, he soaks every bag of garbage in ammonia. No, I'm not planning on moving anytime soon. The bears, I don't have that many of them. Now, in terms of some other bear deterrents, you heard that one Hot Creek resident say he uses ammonia. You can also use other bleach-based cleaners to deter them if you don't want to build an enclosure. That's a little bit more work building something around your garbage can to keep the bears out. Officials also say you could try turning on your sprinklers. Either the water or the sound could help get them out of your yard. Reporting live in Hot Creek, Ashley Searles, News 13.